Seder Pesach is Zman Cheruteinu, the season and the celebration of our freedom, of our independence. Now, I used to wonder if Pesach is an independence celebration. Well, we know how you celebrate an Independence Day. You have a parade and firecrackers and speeches and picnics, and then you go home. Who ever heard of celebrating an Independence Day for seven or eight days? And not only a week celebration, but look what you have to go through with preparing for the Pesach two weeks in advance. Well, okay, it's a, it may be a little bit of an overkill, but then every Friday night when we say Kiddush, Zeichel Litziat Mitzrayim. And when we put on the tefillin, it's Zeichel Litziat Mitzrayim. And almost every one of the mitzvot that we deal with is Zeichel Litziat Mitzrayim. Sometimes I think it's a little bit too much. Just about 40 years ago, there was a new philosophy that was launched in the United States. If it feels good, do it. And Professor Albert Einstein said it so beautifully. He said, that idea that life is here purely for personal pleasure, that is a golden life for a herd of swine. We have something else in life other than just looking for pleasure. And this is where Torah comes in and tells us that Hashem created us, not like other animals, but He created us so that we should participate in our own growth, in our own creation, and become that which Hashem wanted us to be. Hashem said, Na'ase Adam, let us make man. Who? Who's the us? And the Baal Shem Tov says that Hashem was talking to man himself. I created you with a body, and I created you with a potential, and I created you with a neshama, so that you should become something different than an animal that has no control of oneself. No, there's nothing wrong with having pleasure. But when pleasure becomes a goal of life, you've degraded to an animal status. The goal of life is to take this animal that we were born with, we came into the world as little animals, and to convert it into a malach, to convert it into a spiritual being. And that's what Pesach tells us all about. Avadim Hoyinu, there were times where we were slaves to Pago, and then after we got out of Mitzrayim, we lost our freedom to addiction. Addiction to alcohol, to drugs, to gambling, to food. You can never afford to lose your sense of dignity, never afford to lose your sense of being a unique human being. Not only an intelligent and knowledgeable human being, but a truly spiritual human being that lives for something greater to become true people. That we are children of Hashem and we are proud to be so and we will live the life of children to Hashem. Chazak